And in Stockdale, you are an Iron Man. And William Harkoff. race video which i'm super excited for as you guys have kind of seen like we've just been driving through the states the last few days and i know there's going to be a lot of stuff kind of going on um race week this week so i wanted to just kind of limit the amount um of talking i do amongst the travel and just kind of show you guys us driving across all the states because to go from where i'm from calgary alberta and like where we left from balkan where our family farm is kind of in that area to Lake Placid is 36 hours. Gone through Montana, uh, what else? Wyoming, not Wyoming, um, Illinois, Iowa, Ohio, and a few others. I'll throw them all up or I'll probably would have included all of them um, as in the driving montage. But we're gonna arrive in Lake Placid tomorrow. We're currently in uh, Erie and um going to lake plaza tomorrow and we're gonna check in we're just about to check into a hotel here in erie or i don't even know how you say it i don't even know if i'm saying it right but today's tuesday we're gonna arrive tomorrow on wednesday so i'll have five days before the race to kind of chill out and i actually woke up a few days ago with a really bad chest cold so that's kind of shitty it's not necessarily the most ideal race week scenario but hoping i got a bunch of cold stuff and I'm just gonna I'm hoping I just kind of sleep it off over the next couple of days I don't know what my taper is gonna look like just because I haven't really been able to do much just with us trying to obviously drive out here and um, just me not feeling great too so hopefully I feel good tomorrow after a good night's sleep and yeah I'll see you guys probably tomorrow when we get to the Airbnb <laughs> and this place is really sick like really really cool so I'm gonna flip the screen around and show you guys the Airbnb so it's kind of like a cabin type thing um, don't know what that shit is this is the place that we're staying in um, it's massive like hot tub right there picnic tables it's got a really nice patio area um, got the bike there and then slide through doors into here brighten this up a bit kitchen table uh this is just the dining area um bpn subs all right there bathroom over here one of the bedrooms this part's my favorite part so this is the living area like just look at this like how sick is that and the stairs here. 
So we're not actually in Lake Placid. To get a place in Lake Placid was like crazy expensive. So we decided to get one in the town just outside. Another bathroom here, shower, another bedroom here with just two beds. And I think this is the master. Just, it's definitely nice to be out of the car, out of sleeping in hotels, and to just be here. But yeah, we're here for the weekend now. The race is on Sunday and today is Wednesday. So I'm just gonna kind of be taking you guys along um, race week this week. So I'll take you guys along with everything that I do. So just got back from that run. That was super pretty. Um, but I, I just thought I'd quickly tell you guys the stats here. 4.10 miles, 38 minutes, pace of 9.17. Heart rate was really low, actually, which was surprising. Average heart rate was 135 beats per minute. yesterday so yesterday was Thursday not a whole lot went on we just ended up kind of I went got um, the athlete check-in dropped some stuff off there and went for a little bit of a swim then other than that we just did a little hike as a family and just kind of hung out so I didn't really um, vlog much of it also probably go for a bike ride and a run too so I'll make sure that I take you guys All right, just got back from the little bike ride and haven't really filmed much today. Like I kind of was kind of saying when I was out on the bike, but pretty much just kind of hung out today, went mini golfing, went back to the athlete village, went to the debriefing that they had going on, kind of listened to what they had to say. And then I took my bike into a bike shop, got a new chain put on, they waxed the chain, which I've never had. and just from taking it out for a ride. Definitely enjoy, it feels nice. I don't really know how big of a difference it makes, but it definitely felt good. Um, but yeah, like today's Friday, so tonight's gonna be an early night to bed. Um, and then tomorrow's just gonna be kinda hanging out and seeing some more of Lake Placid and probably go for a swim and a little bike and a, um, a run probably. Just really short, just to kinda all right, just look get the nice body moving there. more or less. So like I'm not just highways. sitting all day. And then so nice. tonight I was gonna like go for a run, done, but I definitely am not now. I'm just gonna go sit in the hot tub, which is just over there. And um, probably eat some food and then go to bed early. All right, so today is Saturday. As you guys saw earlier, I went for a bike ride this morning when I first woke up. Then I went for a one mile run, and then we took my bike into town, and I checked it in, and I got all checked in at the village, got my timing chip, and 
and all that good stuff. And you know, I just sat down and ate like my bigger meal. It's 3 p.m. So the day before the race, I always like to kind of finish my last meal off that's like bigger around 2 or 3 p.m. Just so I have enough time to kind of digest digest it. And then if I do get hungry before bed, just have like some crackers, um, some super light and easy to digest carbs. Um, but no, so dropped the bike off this morning and obviously like the race nerves, the pre-race excitement and the just that nervous feeling that I get before a race has definitely kicked in. And obviously I've never done a full Ironman before. The races I've done in the past have just been half Ironman. So I'm definitely, I'm nervous um, for sure. Like I'm not really sure what to expect. Obviously like I'm gonna push myself as hard as I can and just enjoy it and have fun with it. Because when you dedicate so much of your life to something and you really just go all in on yourself and you focus on a goal. And I know no matter what happens, like if I get a flat tire and all the crappy things that could possibly happen, I, I know at the end of the day, the best outcome will be the outcome that I know when I cross the finish line that I've just worked my hardest, I've left it all out there. And that's one thing, like with both Texas and Victoria 70.3, when I finished those races, I was just so damn proud of myself because not only did I put the work in leading up to the race, but in the race itself, like I pushed myself as hard as I possibly could in both of those races. And obviously there's a lot more strategy that goes into a full Ironman. You need to pace yourself. You can't just go all out or you will die. Um, so I'm definitely excited to see how this will play out. I'm, like I said, really nervous, really excited. I, that's why I've kind of just been trying to stay away from the camera and not film so much just because I've realized that it like makes me even more nervous to be just like filming and recording all this because I don't know, it just does. It's hard for me to explain, but um, no, I wanted to really just sit down with you guys and talk um, about the race right now because it's getting later in the day and I'm gonna put my phone down obviously and I just kind of want to get to bed early and really just think about tomorrow. Um, but honestly, like, just reflecting on the past eight months, because obviously for those of you guys who have been following this journey since like November of last year, um, I have like, this is, it's crazy to me that I'm racing this race tomorrow. Like I remember sitting in my parents' house being like, huh, should I do it? Like, should I do an Ironman? And then just kind of like signing up and then just kind of thinking, oh, well, it's like eight months away. I have so much time to train for it. And then obviously you go through that whole process. And then I did the two 70.3s along the way. Had so much fun doing those. And obviously now being less than 24 hours out from my first full Ironman, like it's, it's seriously crazy. And like, I would literally be lying if I sat here and said, I'm super confident going into tomorrow. I mean, I've never swam 3,800 meters before open water, like nonstop. I've never done, I've done a hundred mile bike ride before, but I've never done 112 miles. Um, and I've never ran a full marathon since I ran the one back in November, which I literally like, it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. So there's lots of things that are making me pretty damn nervous for this race. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited, so fired up. Um, and the amount of messages I've got from everybody and just like people like reposting me on their stories and commenting on my videos and whatever it is just saying how much I've inspired them like I'm so grateful that I've been able to kind of be in a position that I've been able to impact others because obviously like growing up I've always just looked up to other people and I've had so many influences on myself that have helped me get through whether it was tough situations or helped help me just feel inspired feel motivated to like train or to be a better human being or whatever it might be or just to be more disciplined in my life um and just the the fact that i've been able to help others in the same way that others have been able to help me just like completely blows my mind away and i mean i'm just super grateful obviously for every single one of you guys who watch these videos comment on them and show me support like um I get like this it seriously just like fills my cup to be able to receive messages like that and obviously like yeah this journey has been absolutely crazy like to look back like I said eight months ago started training for this day and it's literally tomorrow and knowing that I've literally poured my heart and soul into this whole Ironman journey like I've really treated it like something that I've really made it a priority in my life I mean um, 
I mean, I'm tw- I'm 20 I'm 20 I just turned 21 um, in June. I was born in 2002, so I'm I'm literally in the midst of university, and obviously, like, it's not very common for someone who's in university to be spending every single weekend riding their bike and going for runs, and I haven't really necessarily been going out much and going partying and doing stuff like that just because this has seriously been such a large priority for me because I just want to create I really just want to inspire others to do hard things and that you're never too young you're never too young to do crazy shit like this you're never too young to take charge of your life to start chasing your dreams because that's what this is all about and that's the main thing that I really wanted to do this year and This whole year has just been about self-growth and really just focusing on myself. And through these Ironmans, I've learned so much about myself. And obviously, like, I recommend it so much to anybody. Like, if if you have the opportunity to train for an Ironman and do one, do one. Because it seriously changed my life. And I could not, like, I'm just so grateful. So damn grateful. And I know I'm probably not going to cut any of this. I might. Um, So I'm probably just going to leave this pretty raw because there hasn't been much talking in this video. But yeah, man, like I'm just so fired up, so excited, can't freaking wait. And I'm just, yeah, I'm sure all you guys will have seen the results by now. I'll I'll, I'll either have died or or I finished. So I'm sure I won't have, I'll throw together some clips of me doing the race tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for following along this journey thank you guys seriously from the bottom of my heart like i really does mean a lot that people obviously enjoy the content i'm putting out and are inspired by the content i'm putting out and for me that's why i do this that's why i i really want to like put myself out there is because like i said i've had so many people who've impacted me on a positive note through social media and i just really want to be able to do the same for others and yeah like I said, like checking my bike in this morning, just nerves have kicked in. I'm nervous as hell and I'm excited. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the other side. I'll cue the whatever I have planned next. But I do apologize for not necessarily vlogging the whole weekend. I've kind of let this whole week just kind of go all over the map and I've just kind of really been trying to enjoy it and stuff like that. But with that being said, I'm going to go meditate or whatever the hell you're supposed to do before an Ironman. Listen to some pump up tunes, stretch out, and I'll see you guys after tomorrow. Wish me luck. That proves the point that what we do and what we accomplish in life is only a tip of the iceberg of what's possible for us. I found that most people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss. I found that most people fail in life because they do aim too low and hit. And many name never aim at all. The wealthiest place on the planet is the cemetery. And there you see potential never realized. There you find books never written. There you find ideas never acted on. Only to realize that you've never lived. Only to realize that you've never scraped the surface. The most powerful motivational speeches that I have ever heard came from people who told me I couldn't do something. You know why? Because when they told me I couldn't do it, I was bound and determined to show them that I could. Tell me I can't do it. I will prove you wrong. I will show you. We are not made to survive. We're not made to manage. The I we are so excited to be here at the finish line of your incredible day. And second away by the brewing company, Iron Man, Mike Clarkson, for the 24th time! 
See, the thing about life, we're gonna die, right? Eventually we're gonna die. But our legacy can live on. The impact can be non-perishable forever. But it's gotta be built right. And we gotta take advantage of the time we have right now. What are you waiting for? We got one life to live. Today it begins. Tomorrow continues. And it never ends. Until you reach your goal and cross the finish line. With your hand. Held victorious. You go after things. You try them. Even if you fail, you get back Let's up. Go and well. you continue to try and fail. Continue to try and fail. And ensuring you never Woo. fail to try. Let's go, William! Let's go. Failure Woo. is part of the recipe for success. It's the losers that fail once and quit. Every winner has done failed. The loser and the winner both fail. It's just that the winner gets back up and does it again. Let's go, buddy. Making your dreams a reality. Rep. Come on, Bye. William! Woo! William, let's go, Willie! Let's go, buddy! You got it, you got it! Yes, sir! <laughs> you got it. It's inside of you, it's always been there. You must believe in yourself enough to be the person now of what others will remember you for later. Woo! Come on, William! Almost let's go, buddy! Let's go, buddy! Push it! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Push it, buddy! We're putting the work in now to let's never go. wonder what it. Not run by the clock. Run by our desire where we want to go tomorrow. Heavily. And in Stockdale, you are an Iron Man. And William Harkoff, you are an Iron Man, William. Fuck yeah, baby. I'm an Iron Man. Let's go. See you guys in the next one. Until next time.